<laughs> Folks, I want to uh, I want to tell you a couple things about our national anthem. First and foremost, it is our national anthem. It's not just a song that celebrities show off on before a sporting event. Uh, it's right. not a political statement. In fact, our national anthem, folks, is the only national anthem in the world that is not a declaration of power or strength. Our national anthem is actually a question. And I'll bet you never thought about it before. But uh, during the War of 1812, I'm going to give you a little history lesson here, there was a man named Francis Scott Keyes who wrote our national anthem. And he was actually a lawyer who was sent here to negotiate uh, prisoners of war from Britain to America. There were prisoners of war in warships off the coast of Fort McHenry. And the admiral said, look, I'll do that. I'll negotiate with you and I'll give you your, your prisoners back one for one. We'll trade, but it really doesn't matter. And Francis Scott Key said, why is that? And he said, you see that flag? Over there at Fort McHenry, let's look at Ken Schrader's flag. You see that flag at Fort McHenry? He said, yeah. And he said, well, we have ordered that flag to be taken down and replaced by our flag by sunset tonight. Or, he said, turn around. And on the horizon was every warship that Britain had. He said, we are going to open fire on that fort and obliterate that flag if they don't take it down. So when the question was asked, they fought all night. So the question was asked by the prisoners in the belly of the ship, hey, can you still see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? So can you still see this morning what we were looking at as the sun was going down last night, which was that flag? whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched, they were so gallantly screaming. So they were looking at that flag during the battle that was raging to tear it down over something kind of similar to this protective wall here. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. The only way during the night, because they didn't have this great lighting system, uh, they could see that that flag was still there and that the people in Fort McHenry had not capitulated and given up their freedom was by the light of the battle raging to tear it down. So it ends. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Does it still wave? 